welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite face brushes. And I specifically chose a lot of the stuff that you can find at the drugstore or very affordable online. So I have all of my favorites right here in this container and I'm going to be going through all of them. These are just face brushes. If you guys want to see eye brushes, give this video a thumbs up and I can do that for you as well. And you can also ignore the fact that I'm wearing a hat because my hair is really dirty right now to kind of conceal what's going on up here about and these are dirty i'm sorry i used them today but they are the real techniques uh little sponges they are very comparable to the beauty blender that you can purchase at sephora for like twenty dollars this right here is six dollars and i feel it works pretty much just as good as the beauty blender they are a different shape so it's going to have this little cut out here which is what i actually prefer over the beauty blender. I just love this sponge. I use these for everything. I use these for my foundation, my concealer. I use them for powders as well, which is why this looks so dirty. But I absolutely love these, and if you don't want to spend the 20 bucks on a beauty blender, try this one out. So I'm just gonna go through all of my Real Techniques brushes. So the first one is the Real Techniques blush brush, and this is hands down my favorite blush brush. It's a very large brush. It's not going to dispense a lot of the product at once, all in just one area, which is what you kind of want for a blush brush. You don't want it to just like glob on one little area. So I like using this big fluffy brush. It's perfect for just sweeping across a light wash of color and you can also blend it out as well if you got a little too carried away. So I absolutely love this one. One of my newer favorites is the stipple, the stippling brush. And I heard a lot of people talk about this. I'm not the biggest fan with using these type of brushes for my foundation. So I like to use these for powders. I've used it for bronzer and I've used it for highlighting as well. I think my favorite way to use this is bronzing and I've used it as you can tell, but it's super soft. It's not super dense, so if you were to use this for foundation, it's gonna give you more of a lightweight finish to your foundation. So I really like this one. I have also picked up the sculpting brush not too long ago. I've only had it for a couple months and I really, really like this. So this is meant for contouring and if you want that really precise, intense contour, this brush can do that for you. Also what I've liked been using it for is to blend out my concealer. I feel like the shape is perfect for getting right in your inner corner and blending it out. So I really like it for that. And it's just super soft. I haven't experienced any shedding with these brushes. They are amazing quality. I find most of mine at Ulta, but I've also seen them at Walgreens and Walmart as well. This next one is one of my favorites. I've had it for so long and it's held up all this time. This is the setting brush. When I first got this, I used to use this to set my under eye concealer all the time with powder. Absolutely love it for that. Then I started to use this to blend out my concealer. I love it for that as well. And now I've recently been using it for my highlight. It is a pretty small brush, so it's gonna be really precise and really pack on that color. Seriously, this is one of the best Real Techniques brushes I have. Highly recommend you pick this up. It's amazing. So these two I want to talk about together because I bought them at the same time because I wasn't sure which one would be better. So this one right here is the Expert Face Brush and this one is the Buffing Brush. So these are good for foundation and the one I like more is the Buffing Brush. I just feel like it just gives you a softer finish. It's less dense than the Expert Face Brush, which is what I like about it. The Expert Face Brush is a tiny bit smaller as well, so I just prefer the Buffing Brush. If you are torn between the two as far as which one you want for foundation, I prefer the Buffing Brush. And the last one is the Contour Brush, so it's more of like a tapered brush. I used to use this also all the time to set my under eye concealer with powder. This is amazing for that, but it's also really nice for contour since it is a pretty small brush. It really allows you to get right into the hollows of your cheekbones and to blend it out. So I really like this one. Some of these are exclusive to sets and some of them you can purchase individually. So I'm not sure exactly which ones I purchased because I got a couple sets and I purchased most of them individually as well. So keep that in mind. But 
hands down real techniques are some of my favorite drugstore brushes now the next ones I want to talk about are by elf and these are super affordable they are all three dollars and I kind of have doubles of some of them so I'll go ahead and talk about those the one I use pretty much every single day or I do use it every single day this is the elf blush brush and this is kind of a slim tapered brush this is what I use to set my under eye concealer and I also use it when I am baking or cooking my under eyes. I use this to sweep away the excess powder. I also use this for highlighting sometimes as well. So I love this. I purchased the second one. The only thing I want to mention about e.l.f. brushes, I feel like they are not always identical. So I purchased two of these and I feel like there's a slight difference. The first one I purchased is a little bit smaller and more dense while the newer one I purchased is more flat and a little bit larger as well. I don't know, they're different. I don't know if you can see. I don't know, I just wanted to mention that in case you purchased one and it doesn't look exactly like mine. As you can tell, hopefully they are different but they are the same brush. The other two that I have is the Flawless Concealer Brush, and I like to use this. I've actually never used it for concealer. I use it to blend out my nose contour. I know, it's so specific, but I love it for that because it's so small, and when I make the like sharp lines with my contour, this just makes it so easy to blend out. Again, this is one that I've repurchased, and they are different. So as you can see, this one right here is the newer one, and it's a lot larger and more fluffy than the original that I had bought, but I actually like them both, so I like having the two even though they're the same brush. This next one I'm sure you've seen me use, and this is the Angled Blush Brush, and I actually use this to contour, so it's just a nice contour brush. I love using this. There's really not much to say about it. It's just an angled brush. It's perfect for just getting right into the hollows of your cheekbones and you can blend it out as well. It's going to give you a softer contour so that's what I like about it. Just great for every day when I don't want like a super harsh contour. This is not one of those I use every single day but I feel like it's just one I want to mention and this is the small stipple brush. I used to use this all the time especially for like cream contours. I feel like it's perfect for that. It's just so small and precise and I just love the fact that it's only three bucks. So if you've been looking for something, if you're getting into like cream contour, definitely check this one out because I feel like it's perfect for that. It's the perfect size. And the last one is the small tapered brush, which I repurchased this and again, it was slightly different than the original one I had gotten. I don't have that one anymore. I cannot find it, but this is what it looks like here. It's kind of similar to the the blush brush but it's just a little bit smaller and more dense so this is perfect for setting you underneath your under eyes as well with powders I love using it for that it's just the perfect shape to get right in there and set that under eye concealer so I love those brushes I cannot believe they're only three dollars and I have experienced little to no shedding with those brushes now the last thing I want to talk about are just kind of random ones this one right here, I have raved about this foundation brush. This is by the Target brand, so the Up and Up brand. And I believe this is called the Complexion Brush, but it's just a smaller kind of buffing brush. And this is hands down the best foundation brush I have ever used. I highly recommend you get this one. It's only five or six dollars at Target, and it is amazing. It is super dense, so it's really going to pack on your foundation if you're looking for that full coverage. I absolutely love this. And would recommend it to anybody. This one is by Morphe and this is the M436 and this is just another small stipple brush. I'll compare it to the e.l.f. one. So the e.l.f. one is just a little bit smaller as you can see and the bristles are a little bit shorter as well. So the Morphe one is super super soft. As you can see it's very flexible. I like to use this with also cream contours like cream powder cream powders, <laughs> cream products, and I like to use it for highlighting as well. I just feel like it gives just a soft, subtle highlight. So I really love this one. It's really affordable around like five, six dollars or so. And the last two I want to mention are in a set from BH Cosmetics. I believe it's the 
sculpt in something set. I got it over the holidays last year and I love that set. And these two I have found I gotten a lot of use out of and they're just little small concealer brushes. This one's more of like an angled concealer brush. So I like to use it to carve out my eyebrows with concealer or I'll sometimes use it to apply like eye primers, stuff like that. And then this other one is more of like a, it looks like a mini like flat top kabuki brush. And this is perfect for when you have a spot. I just dab the concealer on and I blend it out with this. It doesn't take away too much of the product so you're still going to have that coverage. But it just blends it out so nicely. It's the perfect small little brush to do that. So I really like this one. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, I would love it if you did. And let me know what type of videos you would like to see next. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.